I'm about to have some fun, y'all. Let's go. Oh, shit. I Let's get it, y'all. Let's go. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle, everybody. Keeping it moving and grooving. We are at one of my favorite auctions. Like always, Mannheim, Minneapolis, you guys. Getting ready to check out some cars. You got some people hitting some, some engines over there. Most definitely, man. So let's see what we can find. You guys can probably see a lot of uh, newer cars out here. Let's just see what's on the front row. I got a nice list, two pages long. Um, we are, I don't see any type of like Mopars or anything like that. Uh, they still got that Kia Stinger out there, y'all, that we checked out last time. But we are looking for this car right here, man. Um, so this thing right here is a 2005 Acura RL. Um, it is beat up, most definitely beat up. Uh, looks like the the hood, we got the fender and the bumper, which is taped up right there. Um, it's got 247,000 miles, but as you guys know, Acura is made by Honda. Um, so these things here, it's all wheel drive Acura. Um, these things kind of hold their value. Now, the question is, is how much would this thing go for? Um, and then how much would you be able to sell it for? So that's always the big, big thing when it comes to these used cars. Let's just, uh, and you got some rust right here. Um, again, disclaimer, um, we are in Minnesota, so you're gonna see some rust on a lot of these cars. Um, so let's open her up. Let's just see what she sounds like. He's got a rip right here. Real common in these Acuras this year, including the Acura um, TL. See if she starts up. Okay, she started up good. Check engine light is on. Unfortunately, um, we cannot check the codes. This is for, somebody actually just commented today and said that I need to check the codes. We cannot check the codes at Mannheim, you guys. There's a tracker that goes into the OBD2 port, this yellow thing, um, and you can't rip it out. Um, so you could damage the uh, OBD2 port, um, or you could, uh, I don't know what else would happen, but I haven't tried. Um, well, actually, I lied. I did try, and it, it, it won't come out easily. So you need the little thing to take it out. Um, so anyways, um, let's check out the electronics. Um, something like this, man, off Topsman, I would buy this super, super cheap, like $500. Um, the MMR, so what it should go f is about 1500 of course, if the body damage wasn't there. Um, so let's just see what we got here. And I feel like, obviously, the sunroof is working, but um, and the radio was working when I got in. It was on. Um, this thing's got heated seats as well, so that's always good. Um, I can't really see the display. Let me see. Let's just all right, throw that in drive. I'm trying to see if we can get, I haven't bought one of these. So let me see if we can cut this on real quick or how we cut this on. All right, AC, auto. Does this blower even turn on? Wait, let's see. All right, AC, boom. Okay, it's turning on, but it's not. I don't know how to control it. I don't know if it's supposed to be under this display or not, but I can't see the display. Um. Is it that? I don't know. Okay, it's going up now. So uh, either way it goes, let's drive it. Let's put it on a test track. See how she rises. Hot air. Most definitely come up and cut this back off. Boy, boy, boy. Right, I'm going to take this off of my dang neck too. So um, yeah, let's go throw this thing on the track. Wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. see. All right, there we go. That was my mistake. All right, let's get over here, y'all. As y'all can see, man, it's a lot of cars out here. A lot of vehicles, man. So um, we are going to test drive a couple. We're not going to make this video too long, um, but we are going to have a little fun. Let's get it. Okay, y'all. So as I was driving, the all-wheel drive light came on and all of these lights, obviously it wasn't like that before. And then the car jerked, um, which I would imagine would happen if the all-wheel drive light came, came on. So um, what I'm doing, you guys, is I'm bringing this joker right back. Um, because I'm not gonna play around with the all-wheel drive system and then it's got that cosmetic issue as well So even at 500 I wouldn't be a player. So um, let's run over here. Let's keep on going We like I said, we got us a nice list. So let's hopefully get some nice cars Next one up y'all 2002 Dodge Caravan this thing only has a hundred and four 
thousand miles on it. Looks like the door is shut, so or locked. So I'm not gonna be able to open it on this side. But tire seems to be decent. Body looks to be decent as well. Let's keep on looking. Tire's a little flat right here, but that's nothing. Let's open up the door. See what she looked like. And see how she sound. Start her up. Oh, all right, there we go. Okay, so she started up. It's got leather seats in the back, but then cloth in the front. I've never seen this before. I don't, and then you got this, uh, the lining coming off of the roof. So I kind of wonder how this thing drives, man. Um, let's go ahead and pop the hood real quick. Might as well do that before we drive it. See what we got. Dude over there clowning in that Camaro. <laughs> I'll probably do the same thing. Well, y'all know I would do the same thing, actually. Um, I might actually end up doing that if we can't find something better. Um, all right, let's see. Get y'all a little treat, man. Oh, come on now. I'm trying to get the hood open. And it's not releasing. Try it one more time. Hopefully I can get it to release. All right, there we go. Okay, it looks really good, really clean. Um, like no active leaks or nothing, not from the valve covers or valve cover gasket or anything like that. It might have actually been detailed. Let's see. Uh, no, it don't, don't look bad down there. It looks. I don't know about right there though. That might be some, I think that's some old stuff, but it's nothing. The ground isn't wet. So let's check out the electronics real quick. Oh, there's no <laughs> manual windows, y'all. So don't need to worry about that, I guess. Let me see. Oh, that AC most definitely blowing. Let's see if the radio works. Radio works, that's good. All right. I guess we're going to see how she actually handles man so let's see let's see what she talking about so far so good up to 30 40 50 55 slow it down a little bit brakes feel good suspension feels good these some of these like these van or cars in general you can't get them up that fast um a lot of cars i can get up to like 70 on here but a lot of them you can't i like to get them to at least 60. but let's see i'm trying to hit this gas but it still has its power what it's supposed to but i just i'm not able to get it up to where i want to safely so we got it up to 55. i think it drives pretty dang well to be honest with you guys um, i'm most definitely going to hit this one more time um so let me wrap this joint around real quick and then uh, see what she do. I need to take y'all back there. I haven't taken y'all back there at least in about a year or two to see what kind of cars has been sitting back there, man. A lot of all these cars over there, man, they just been sitting at Mannheim for a very, very long time. People just aren't coming to get them um, or they are um, like a salvage or whatever. Let's see. Not salvage, I meant like an insurance and nobody's like, they can't sell it yet. Like repos and all that crap. Let's see. All right, we up to 50 still. Yeah, we ain't getting this past 55. Well, either way it goes, man, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on my list. Comment below, let me know how much would you pay for it um, if you were going to sell it or how much would you pay for it if you were a buyer, man. Let's move on to the next one. I think we found the next one up, y'all, but I'm looking at this joint right here. This look nice. I'm pretty sure, let me not. I think it's a 745. I think it is. I might be wrong though. Nope. 528i. That's crazy. Like the newer body styles look just as big as the 7 series used to be. It's crazy. Anyway, um, here we go right here, y'all. Looks like this thing has been sold. It's got that S on there already. I gotta see, I gotta look and see after I get done checking this out. Who was who is a seller now? Um, I always get a little scared when um the uh 
like when somebody just runs it right back through the auction. Um, I thought it was a big dealer, but I may be wrong. So um, this thing, well, I forgot what year it is. What is this year? Uh, 2005 uh, Chevy Equinox LT. Um, and it's got 165,000 miles on it. So um, as you can see, this interior is disgusting. Um, so we're going to need to get that taken care of. That's going to cost some money, man. Pretty penny. It's got a Kenwood CD player, it looks like. Um, it's dead. Sometimes you just take your your signs and you don't even bother. Um, so I think I'm going to take this. Sign. I'm going to leave this one alone, y'all. I got my jump pack, but some just telling me not to even mess with this one. Um, yeah, I don't, I've never been good with white cars. And every time I go against the grain on a white car, I end up making a bad, bad decision. So uh, let's not mess with that. Um, let's see what's next. And you shouldn't be like, like that if you're a car dealer. I ain't going to lie. Like, my train of thought... Like what I just said is like not reality, but hey, it is what it is. Um, 612. All right, so now we got two more cars to go check out. Um, let's see what else they got over here, though. I'm trying to show y'all some. This car been here for a long time, man. When I say a long time, like three months. It's crazy. It's like these dealers, they paid all this money for these cars. They can't get their money back. This joint right here looking is nice. This is a 2018, my bad. 2018 SR. This is... This got the V8 in it. This only got 26,000 miles on it. Oh, this is, oh yeah. Let me see this little, get in the little cockpit real quick, y'all. Let me see what they talking about. Hey man, say man. Yeah. Okay, we might have to come back and mess with one of these Camaros, man. We gonna come back, man. So y'all stay tuned. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. One of these Camaros will be getting driven today. Whoever backed this up, backed it up super close. It's crazy. Denali right there. Let me stop window shopping, y'all. I'm trying to get to where we got to get to. That's on my list right there, that Lincoln. Whoever's driving that, I most definitely want that. That thing's got a, um, I think it's got a prior salvage title. But we're going to make our way over there, drive that, see what she do. Um, so we're looking for a Ford Fusion and a Nissan Maxima. And we're going the opposite way. My bad. So let's go down here. I've, we've sold one of these before, and it was a bad buy. So that's why you guys always see me like walk past those GMC terrains. There's a lot of it's a lot of GM cars that I will walk past just off of experience. So all right, that's why I didn't see it. So it looks like six eight and six twelve. So they don't have a 612, that's not there. And then 68, and then 68 is not over here either. So, um, all right. Well, it looks like we're gonna be moving over to five lane. Check out some more cars. I think we found the next one, which is this Malibu, yes sir. Um, so this is a 2008, you all, with 165,000 miles, candy apple red. She is looking good. I believe this is the LTZ version. It's got the two-tone interior, which is always a very, very um, good selling point. So this thing's got the sunroof, everything that I need to be able to sell it and make some money. Tinted windows on it. It's got the uh, chrome. I don't even know what you would call that. I'm pretty sure somebody will let me know. They already took out the decal for the Vikings. They must have got mad when we lost. Um, but <laughs> but anyways, man. Uh, let's see what we got. It smells like cigarette smoke smoking here. Start her up, man. Hopefully this thing got no check engine light. Do not like buying Malibu's with check engine lights. Okay, it doesn't. Alright. This is cool. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, sunroof is good. Let's see if this radio works. Boom, we good there. Um, yeah, man. Oh, then I wanted to make a little announcement too, man. I've been so as you guys know, everybody that's that rocks with me, um, I do buy most of my cars from franchise dealers. Um, and what I've been seeing, man, is that they are um even the franchise dealers are now. I don't know how I'm gonna get up out of here. Homie. Hold on. Let me make sure I don't hit nothing. I'm about to go the other way. Um, but I'm seeing like the franchise dealers, man, they're they're uh, erasing the codes too. Like I had a couple cars um, recently that I had picked up from them and then all of a sudden 
I get down the road, you know, driving it for about 30 minutes and then the check engine light comes on. So now even the franchise dealers are um, erasing these codes, man. So I gotta be very, very um, weary on kind of like what I'm buying. Uh, what they got right there? That's got a V8 in it. I wonder if that's the, let me not say the wrong. So I think that's the S5. I might be wrong though. I might be tripping. I don't know. Y'all comment below. That look nice though. Y'all see the, oh, this is red with black rims, but that's nice. Yeah, I like that. That's an Audi. If y'all don't know, I do know that. But uh, anyways, let me uh, get to where we gotta go. Did I check this already? All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna see y'all on the test track. We're gonna see what she do. All right, let's see what she do now. Okay, she most definitely got that power. Up to 50, 55, 60. I'm feeling a little play in the um, foot pedal, so front brakes and rotors, they starting to go. It's not it's not terrible, but I would fix it. Y'all know me, front brakes and rotors, man. <laughs> All right, let's see. One more time. Uh, in the oil change is recent 168 307 so it's got about like 3,000 miles left on it yeah i'm digging this all right throw this throw it around one more time of course y'all see what you do and he, some of y'all ask like why i do certain things i'm most definitely running any car that i'm buying through twice um just because like you just don't know there's been multiple times man where i'll drive a car um, and I'll come down there the second time and then that's when the transmission starts slipping or something. So um, you kind of always want to get, if possible, depending on which auction you at, you want to get the car to like max temperature. Um, that way you can be able to hear anything funny coming from the motor or if something's going to slip, it's going to start slipping. Or if you're going to start smelling something, you're going to start smelling it. So I'm always telling y'all that over and over again. Make sure y'all let y'all cars run. Make sure you you know drive the car as best as you can or if as long as you can me personally i drive so many cars that it's kind of hard to um you know drive them for an extended period of time but uh either way it goes man here we go up to 50 again let's get her up to 60 i think i can do 60 with this one yes sir step on that brake again yeah tire pressure light came on i don't think that was it might have been on before let me shut up i'm gonna lie to y'all <laughs> If that was uh, all right so uh either way it goes man um this one's good as y'all can see it's driving as it should um so i'm gonna go ahead and put this one on my list y'all comment below let me know what you think about this one let's move on to the next one here we go lincoln mkx you guys this one's a 2007 157 000 miles i believe it is all wheel drive body looks to be okay yep it is all wheel drive so that's good like I was telling y'all before, this one's prior salvage. Um, leather interior, no sunroof on this one. But um, the interior looks pretty good. It's really good, actually. Let's start her up, see what we got. And just so for the people that always want the updates and everything, um, the 20, the two 2011s that I had, I, I don't even, I haven't had anybody come out and um, check out any one of those. So. Um, I'm thinking about lowering the price on uh, the one that came stock. Um, the one that was just with the chrome rims. I'm thinking about lowering the price on that one. Um, and keeping that, uh, like I said, that Lincoln, the other Lincoln, the black on black one for a little while. But uh, either way it goes, y'all. Here we go. Doom, da doom. All right, we good with the windows. That's working. AC is blowing out cold, so that's good. Um, by the way, check the um, under the engine bay and the uh, um, under the hood, and uh, we and the, we're good, man. So the, there's no leaks under there that I can see. Um, this thing, this pedal's going down to the floor. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, it's going down to the floor. Um, but the suspension seems to be tight so far, as y'all can see. So let's get to the test track. Let's see how she drives. All right, up to 40, 50, 
55, almost 60. But this, I'm not finna mess around with this brake pedal, y'all. So I'm not trying to drive it too fast. Let's see. One more time. All right. Go to 40 again. Still shifting good, that's good. Especially the fact that that other guy, y'all saw that guy driving it earlier. So um, that means that we probably got this thing up to a good temp, but we gonna most definitely double check our work, y'all. Make sure we good there. Let's see. All right. 40 again. 50. All right, now we got up to 60. All right, we good. All right, I'm putting this one on the list, y'all. Um, it could be anything with the, the whole uh, pedal being a little bit soft, but it's not going to the floor or nothing. Um, but I don't think it'll be anything major. So um, comment below, let me know how much would you uh, pay for this one. All right, y'all, we got a 07 Mitsubishi Outlander. It's got 180,000 miles on it. Um, if you guys are paying attention, it's just got some little um, issues cosmetically here and there, like little rust spots. Um, nothing too major. Just seems to be like paint stuff. Stuff I can get out, I'm very sure of it. What the heck they got in the back back there? Hold on, man. I think they got a, um, they got aftermarket speakers. I might be wrong. Uh, Rockford, what's that say? Fosgate? I don't know. Comment below. Let me know. Is that an aftermarket speaker? I'm pretty sure it is, but then again, I've never bought one of these, so let's see. I don't even know if these is hot commodities or what. Interior looks good, though. This needs a good cleaning. Tires are good. Here, let me go under here right away. Let's see what we got. <sighs> Uh, we most definitely got a little leakage coming out of there. And I don't know where that's coming from. Um, let's just drive it. Uh, let's see. What's up? I think that's an RT right there. Challenger. All right. Let's see how you start this thing up. All right. Okay, she started up. It is at the hot, it looks like. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a no-go. All right. Or am I tripping? Wait, let me see. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. Let me see. The line's right there, but I don't know if that's actually where it's reading or what. Let me cut this off. Power off. Um, check engine lights on. The RPMs just went up and down. That could be like, a, I'm thinking that's probably like an EGR or something, something EVAP. I would think that it would say that it would overheat though. I don't know if it's at the cold or what. It doesn't seem to be acting funny like the engine doesn't. Let me see. Pop this thing in. Fan just kicked in. got cooling in there but y'all can hear that that's an evap leak somewhere in there i don't see nothing coming from the top all right i'm real curious about this uh temperature gauge like i said i've never been in one of these so i don't know how to how to read it but i would assume that it would light up as it gets warmer what the heck damn seat belt kill myself all right so let's check this out cool obviously we know that radio works the ac is kicking in all the windows are straight let's driver i'll meet you guys at the test track all right y'all let's see what she do all right we are up to 30 40 50 55 60. All right, okay, yep, and then it's starting to, if you guys can look, the temperature gauge is starting to light up or color, whatever you want, however you want to say it, yeah. That's what it's doing. Um, so that seems to be cool. I did hear some clunking in the back, y'all. 
but overall, like I said, that engine, that train, is doing what it's supposed to. So I got it up to 55. I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna do it one more time. Drive it one more time for sure. See if I notice anything extra. Like I said, man, I don't. I don't really know what these things are really worth, but we're gonna find out for sure. All right, one more time. Still doing good. 55. See, I feel like, yeah, this thing, I think this, it, it's got like a little bit, it's a little loose. Like when I was hitting the bumps, the front was like kind of swaying. I didn't feel it in the back. So um, it's going to need some, something is loose for sure. So I'm not even going to drive it too fast back down here. I wouldn't want to lose control. So um, we got the check engine light, which I'm sure is the EVAP code. Um, and then we got something going on with the suspension front and back. So um, comment below, let me know what you would pay for it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the list and uh, we will see what, obviously what it goes for tomorrow. Okay, we got us a 2007 Ford Edge, 161,000 miles, black on black on the outside at least. Um, and then let's see how she starts up real quick. All right, that's good. Just got an airbag light on. It's got the sunroof in this one, so that's good. And you guys probably already know I'm gonna mess with that Infinity. Let me actually start this up right now. It's missing, looks like a uh, piece of the body or whatever, but that's nothing. Oh my God, that, oh, oh it stink. I think a cat peed in there. Ah, oh, man, almost threw up. I don't know about that one. Man, I need a mask to get in there, man. I want to drive it because I know how much... Oh. <laughs> Y'all can see my face, man. Mm. Hold my breath. All right. That's all I can do right now. I'm going to let the air out a little bit. I don't even think that's going to help, man. Oh, that's terrible. That's freaking terrible. All right, man. Um, we gonna mess with this one first. Then hopefully we come back. It ain't. It don't smell as bad. Um, but this body is a little beat up. Most definitely beat up. Oh uh, yeah. But I mean, shoot, you might be able to get this thing for the dirt, dirt, and sell it for the dirt, dirt. Do like a quick interior detail. If it, everything else is good on it, let's just drive it and see what's up. But first, let's check out these electronics. See what we got. Ooh, ooh. Let's see if this goes back. Uh, radio right there. All right, it's on, but it doesn't, the screen doesn't work. Okay, this is working, that's good. All right, put that back. The AC is working for sure. Let me uh, pop this hood real fast there we go what's up what's on oh, oh he cool today oh he ready to buy boy you looking like somebody i know boy man oh you got one of another one of these bmws huh I might go for bro. Yeah, let's see yeah oh okay it's driving good it's kind of slim, what's up with the sunshades man yeah, just... feel like a million bucks today trying to man yeah that's what's up, man. I see you rolled up over here trying to see what's going on, huh? Yeah, yeah. I see what you got going on, though. Man, a lot out there, you think so? Not really. I feel like it is. I feel like maybe I'm skipping past it, but everything, like the stuff I've had on my list is all kind of raggedy. Yeah. I draw, no, I've been, I've, the stuff I've been checking out been okay. It's not like terrible or anything. I'm about to mess around with one of these Camaros probably, though. Oh, that, it got an SS. I'm not going. I'm not buying it. I'm, I'm gonna just, you know, stick or what? Uh, no, no, it ain't a stick. Oh, okay. No, I can't film with the stick. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I'll see how that, how that goes. Uh, Where's that on three lane? Nah, it's over on six. Oh. And they got one on another lane. I forgot what number that one was. But yeah, Let's see what's up. These last couple cars. All right. All right. That's uh, Tremaine for y'all that don't know. 
Oh, what am I doing, man? I almost forgot to check out the leaks. All right, let's see. Okay, she looking good. All right, no leaks. Man, I feel like the people that take care of these, these things run forever. Mike got one right now. His personal, it's got 270,000 miles on it. Uh, all right, looks like the AC is dripping a little bit, but I'm also seeing a little leakage coming from right there. Um, I don't know what that is that's leaking. Um, it's obviously coming from up top, so you just don't know. Um, so that's a risk, man. It's a risk that I'll be taking by messing with it. But, you know, um, a guy told me at Odessa, actually, he said, whenever you buy a car that's over 100,000 miles, then you should expect for you to have some type of active leak somewhere. Um, and that's very, very true. Like, I, you know, I mean, I know from experience, like after I started like thinking about it, like, yeah, I guess you're right. As long as I don't see nothing like super crazy, um, then it doesn't really scare me. But um, some, on some cars, you most definitely want to be scared. But uh, either way it goes, y'all, let's get this thing on this test track and let's drive it. Let's see, man. All right. 40, 50, 60. All right, I think this one's cool. That did what it should have did, but I, I low key feel something in the uh, suspension. It's only like when you go, there we go. All right, I just felt something. Ah, okay, ah, that's a little scary. Um, so I was doing the U-turn and then in the middle, I was feeling um, like a grinding, and I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask uh, Brian, which is my mechanic, y'all. I'm gonna ask him about it because I think I remember. I think we had one um, that it was. It was a big, big uh, fix on it. Um, if it was coming out of the middle, he told me to stay away from it. I think I just can't remember if that. I think it was on a Jeep Liberty, but um, this is obviously an all-wheel drive car, so um, you know with these Fords, man, a lot of times you don't want to. Yeah, yeah. See, I feel that. That would scare somebody hands down that would scare somebody because it's scaring me so um but i'm gonna drive it anyway then i'm gonna hit up brian and then uh let him i would let him tell me the answer i guess to what's going on with it but let's um see if this engine and training does anything funny in the meantime all right we up to 50 all right we up to 60 brakes is good so um yeah so either way it goes let's move on to the next one um obviously you guys will know if i end up buying this thing or something um what uh, Brian ends up saying so back to this stinky joint um, let's check it out see how the body looks at least the tires look to be good needs a deep obviously we're gonna do a detail because it's stinking here man uh, this is a real real drive um, infinity g35 uh, I'm gonna pop the hood this doesn't look well maintained um, so honestly, I don't expect this to be um, the best mechanically, but we shall see. Sometimes you'll get you'll get shocked from what you see. This thing has been sitting. So this actually, that's mice poop all on there. So I bet you there's some mice living in there somewhere or they're dead. Um, so yeah, I, I'm probably gonna be traveling with some mice in the car when we go do this test drive. Uh, what we got going? Oh, this thing is like, I think this is fluid all in. Nah, we good. We'll leave this one alone. Um, yeah. And that rock guard underneath that, a gravel guard, it is, uh, or I think sometimes people call it like a skid plate or whatever. Um, I almost threw up, y'all. That just did a hell of a lot. Oh, oh, oh that was nasty. Uh, but yeah, you can see it may, like it's heavy. You can hear the fluid, so I'm good. Let's move on to the next one. We are in the Audi A4 right now, you all. 133,000 miles on it. We'll go ahead and raise this window down real quick. Um, this is a S-Line Quattro, so all-wheel drive with a better package. Um, let me show you all the exterior real quick. Um, this thing is really, really clean, man. Really, really clean. Um, tires, are got the Continental tires on it. This thing looks ready to go. You just want it to drive like it's ready to go. That's the big thing. 
Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all. Let's show the driver's seat. Why not? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna pop this hood as well. I'm excited about this one, man. Y'all know I love these A4s in particular. Oh, yeah. Nice and dry on the top end. Nice and dry, it looks like on the bottom. Let's go. Check out this electronics. All right, that's good too. That's good as well. Raise this up. That AC starting to kick in too, so that's good. Let's make sure we got this on max. All right, let's see if this radio work. All right, that works, that's good. No check engine light. All right, let's try this joint. Okay, let's see what she do. Never would I ever get tired of driving one of these. All right, we up to 40. 70 and now y'all can see why i really like these man um these things just move right along they like little tanks in the snow um most definitely i would keep this as a personal car um for my obviously for myself um but yeah i feel like it's safe like if you can keep up with this car like maintenance wise i feel like this is a really really safe solid car for uh, minnesota's winners to be honest with y'all um but yeah so yeah it's doing what you need to do I'm gonna do it one more time, and then uh, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all the uh, Camaro. That way I don't make this video too long for y'all. We're gonna have a little fun in that joint. Why not? All right, hopefully this thing stands up. Let's see. All right, we're up to 50 already. 60. 70 again there we go man hey hey man i'm most definitely putting this one on the list you guys from what i can see um this does not need anything at all um so you comment below let me know how much would you pay for this one would you guys look what i found man i believe that this uh pontiac fiero right here is the same one that uh, i made a video on a couple of months back i am very very positive this is it man very very positive i think they went ahead rebuilt it um did a detail did a couple put a couple parts on it and now they're trying to get their money back out of this uh pontiac fiero but they did a heck of a job if this is in fact the same one that was beat up before man so um this is a pretty cool ride to me i know a lot of you guys don't like them but i do uh but anyways man let's keep it moving we're walking over here to this Camaro, and we are going to have some fun, man. I kind of feel like I should drive both of them, but I kind of feel like I shouldn't. Um, I don't got that much time, though, y'all. I got somebody that want to come check out the Buick Century, so hopefully we get us a money face on this uh, vlog that we're going to have dropping soon here, y'all. So let's just keep on looking at these cars. Oh, we found a Camaro already. So let's just look at her again, man. Let's just look at her again in admiration. This is about to be fun. This is about to be fun. All right, let me go. I'm going to pop the hood too. That way y'all can see it. Throw this over there. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. Pop this hood. There she go, baby. That's that big boy. It's looking beautiful, man. All right, let's start her up with the hood. Start her up with the hood open, y'all. I like, man, this is just look, this look way better than um, the previous year or previous model before they upgraded everything. Started up good. 
wonder if somebody was driving it. No, I still got the cold start, but let's hit the, let's hit it. I'm about to have some fun, y'all. Let's go. Oh shit. I took off the traction control too. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that felt good. Hey, hey man. That felt good for real, for real. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm looking for the cops. Nah, it's playing. <laughs> hey man. We're gonna do this again. We gotta do this a couple of times, man. Sometimes I forget how it feels to be in a fast car. Or I'm hitting it for real. Man, come on. Man, that felt good. That felt good. That felt real good. I kind of want to drive that other one, man. Like, why not? Because that one's got, I think that one's got an aftermarket exhaust on it. It, sound, it sounds a lot more aggressive. I don't think that, we, well, we'll see if they did any modifications. This one was obviously stock. Y'all was paying attention to under the hood. But, um, yeah, this is a nice drive, man, for real. Real nice drive. Ah, that feels good, man. That felt real good. All right, we're gonna move on to that other one. I'm gonna just go over there. If it's um, if it's not stock, then we're gonna drive it. Um, like if they did any modifications under the hood, then we're gonna drive it. If not, then at least we get to see it and see uh, exactly how that thing looked. That one looked a lot more, a lot different, of course. Here we are, y'all. I'm assuming that this thing is actually modified. Uh, follow them on Instagram, Natural Born Rollers. They got the Instagram tag on there, why not? Um, of course, it's an SS, like I told y'all. It's got a couple modifications, as you guys can see already. Um, let me pop the hood on this one, see if there's anything that looks different under here. Has no uh, cooler in there, it looks like. Um, so I'm not going to drive this car. Actually, I don't want to break nothing, y'all. So, um, but I will start it up, though. I will do that. I don't think that this is an aftermarket. No, I don't think it is. I don't think the uh, air intake is aftermarket. So it's probably just the ex uh, exhaust that they did on it. Let's start her up. This one got 105,000 miles on it. Come on, let me start it up. Oh yeah, that exhaust is a lot louder. A lot louder. Let's hit, let's hit it. Oh. Yeah, that sounds good. Um oh, so I got oh we're gonna I gotta follow them. That racing channel. That's their uh channel, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna follow them, man, on YouTube. But uh, yeah, man, either way it goes, you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, you guys already know what to do, man. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to me. Um, hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you on the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.